I was in a work situation where a lot of things started going from bad to worse. Uh, a number of people I highly respected were being let go, and instead of being able to appeal to the people that I thought were making the mistakes, I realized they are the leadership. So where do you go? And I was so concerned about this, and it was causing a lot of people angst that I actually became quite ill, and it was the thought of blood poisoning. I lost uh, control in the right side of my body and all feeling, uh, and I had a number of very ugly sores in my hands and fingers. And as I prayed about this, I reached out to a Christian science practitioner, and um, the statement she said, I will never forget, was a quote from the end of a Christian science service from 1 John. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. And I realized I had lost my hope. I had had my hope in these individuals in an organization and realized I needed to put my hope in God. And over the next few days, I began to realize that divine love really was in charge, not only of my physical being, but of this church and where I worked and all of the things that were part of my life. And eventually, um, I began to see love was all there was. And one day I was at my desk. My husband was so concerned about me, but he had finally gone to work and was no longer with me. And I suddenly felt this pool of liquid in my hands underneath my desk. And when I pulled my hands out, my hands were filled with what I later realized was this very poisonous liquid that had just constrained me. And it was this extraordinary case of of really spiritual or divine surgery, you could almost say, because the openings were closed very quickly, the poison drained, the arm and the leg were restored of all feeling, and I was healed within about the space of half an hour. And it was the most extraordinary thing to see that the body couldn't do anything that was not going on in thought. And as thought shifted, the body had to shift as well. So I later found my husband was a big runner and he went running with one of the guys who ran the Boston Marathon and was one of the top three. And when he went to the door to knock and see if he was available, his wife came to the door and said, I'm sorry, he has a, a very bad case of blood poisoning and he's in the hospital. And the wife described exactly the symptoms I had and it took him about six months to recover. I was back at my office the next day after only about three days out. That's the effectiveness of Christian science. It's not some woo-woo thing. It, it is so effective and so real and so practical and it is all about God and our relationship to Him. I'm very grateful.